you're after something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? Hey guys, so I just finished watching Solo, A Star Wars Story on 4K HDR. It was my second viewing of this film. I first saw it when it was released with Nicole at the theatre. And my initial impression on that was it was a really fun movie. I was really nervous going in. I was very apprehensive. The trailers looked okay. But I wasn't entirely convinced that we needed a Han Solo standalone film. Um, for me, Harrison Ford just embodied the role so perfectly in the original trilogy. And having another actor take over that mantle was just, I couldn't really buy it. So I was really apprehensive going in. And then, of course, all those stories behind the scenes, how the movie was nearly finished. And there was reports that the two directors had gone a really comedic route and the producers did not like the way the the direction of the story was going. And there was also the reports that the, the lead actor, Han Solo, Eldon Ehrenreich, couldn't act and we brought in Ron Howard to try and salvage and craft a movie out of what was left behind. Apparently they also went off script a lot and there was a lot of improvisation so there was just so many stories behind the scenes about how this movie was going and it was just it just sounded truly horrifying so I was really nervous going into this film but it was end of the day it was a, a a Star Wars movie so I was naturally going to go and check it out at the theater and yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Ron Howard with the writers Jonathan Kasdan and Lawrence Kasdan really did craft a fun Star Wars film. Yeah, it definitely has its flaws, as most movies do, but it was a fun action film with great special effects. And yeah, even the lead role, Alden Eldenreich. I can't say his name right. Alden Ehrenreich. Although he didn't mimic Harrison Ford, he still had that core Han Solo essence. So yeah, it wasn't the iconic Harrison Ford role that we remember and that we love, but he embraced enough of the Han Solo character and made it his own, and yeah, he did a surprisingly good job. Now on the 4K HDR, yeah, this movie was scrubbed up really well. I didn't really see any grain in this film at all, although it was very dark. There was a lot of dark, murky scenes in this film, but the HDR really shone in regards to those darks and those shadowy scenes. You could see everything really, really well. Um, the space scenes, we've got the Millennium Falcon doing the Kessel Run, looked absolutely spectacular in HDR. The colors in this thing, when they do appear, are absolutely vibrant. But not a lot. There, there is not a really, there's not really a lot of room for the HDR to flex its muscle in this one, which is surprising. But the 4K crispness is there. It looks stunning. And the sound was really, really good too. Now, I've just got a 5.1 stereo surround sound system in my man cave. So it's not really built for Atmos and all the 7.1 channels that are available on 4K uh, format. But for me, it shook the, the walls beautifully. I got the good stereo sound. The, the surround was amazing. So yeah, for me, the sound was really, really, really good. And the image was really crisp and clear. So I'm really happy with the 4K resolution and the HDR, like I said, it did the job suitably. So obviously, yeah, this is the best way to watch, to watch the movie. I didn't check out the Blu-ray version. Um, I don't usually go back and forth. I just watch the 4K and give my reports on what I think of that film. And how it looks. Yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised with the way Solo turned out. The end result was incredibly enjoyable. There was a lot of um, other movies getting prepped. There was apparently an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie getting done and a Boba Vett movie on the way too. But So the slowdown production on these movies with the critical reception of The Last Jedi and then Han Solo not doing as expected at the box office. The team at Star Wars has put the brakes on the frequency of our Star Wars movies coming out to us. And I think that is actually a good thing. I didn't want to be oversaturated with Star Wars films. One every year was just too much of a good thing. So going back to a tried and true formula of maybe just one movie every couple of years, like the saga's doing, I'm fine with that. I really am. We've got episode nine coming soon. J.J. Abrams is back on board. So I'm hoping that what he delivers is something truly magical. The Force Awakens, a lot of people don't like it. I don't understand why, but that first 
film that came back to us after so many years, brought to us by J.J. Abrams, was such a nostalgia trip for me. I love that film so, so much. Yeah, yeah, it was considered a retread of Star Wars, like a soft reboot, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I found it very engaging, and what J.J. Abrams delivered in that film was just magical. Ryan Johnson with The Last Jedi, yeah, very divisive. Um, he did go a different route, trying to subvert expectations, and I think that did kind of backfire on him, on him a lot. But end of the day, I do enjoy that film. It's, it's fun. And Rogue One, a lot of people love, love, love that film. And for me, it was a bit too heavy on the action and not a lot on plot. So, But I did enjoy it, but not as much as what I enjoyed Solo, which was just fun. Woody Harrelson was great in it. Amelia Clark was really good. And like I said, Alden Ehrenreich did a very good job in the role of Han Solo. So the sense of fun, the adventure, the special effects, the music, John Williams' score appears in this as well. It was just a fun romp and I really, really enjoyed it. So I can't knock it for, for, for that. It entertained the hell out of me and that's all I really want out of a Star Wars film. So giving Han Solo a rating out of 10, I'm going to give it a solid 8. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It looked fantastic on 4K check it out and um yeah hopefully we do get a sequel to this because the ending surprise spoiler coming up now Darth Maul appearing at the end as the ultimate leader of the Crimson Dawn was amazing yeah a lot of people are like how did he survive after the Phantom Menace if you didn't watch the Clone Wars you wouldn't be aware that yeah he did survive and he's got like half robotic body and yeah, he's actually quite a presence. So his episodes in the Clone Wars was were really good. So yeah, he's alive and I'd like to see more of it. Um, yeah, but just not one every year, guys. It's it's too much. You don't want to spoil it, but I'm happy to see more just, you know, spread out a bit, you know. Anyway, that's my review on Solo, a Star Wars story on 4K. Have you seen it? What do you think? Let me know and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Give you some advice. I assume everyone will betray you, and you will never be disappointed. I got a really good feeling about this. Since when do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. Push it!